Hi, James Melendez, James the Wine Guy, here to share and celebrate these wines with you today. These are from unexpected places. And um, five years from now, 10 years from now, this is 2013. Somebody's gonna look back and say, oh my gosh, that video is just so uh, not needed to, to watch or listen. Uh, or maybe it's a curiosity video. And uh, simply because these I found in the story and the common denominator here is that I found these at a wine retail space here in the San Francisco Bay Area. Now, five to 10 years ago, you could not have found that. Now, what that means is I think the best wines are coming from these regions and are being imported and being sold around the world. And uh, living in this great quality zone of uh, wine time, wine history, is that we're gonna find more of these occurring and for great reasons. So I'm glad to be here now and to be able to taste so many wines from around the planet. Now, we're gonna talk about this wine and each of these individually in their own videos. This is from Lebanon, this is from Bulgaria, and this is from Morocco. Now, I think it's a really interesting story here is that they each have their own path and where they've been. Now, being part of a, um, or working with a wine buying community in my past life, I found it very interesting being around non-wine buyers because the question eventually came was, what's the next wine nation coming online? And coming online means, well, did that just start to, did they just plant vines recently? And uh, when do we expect wines from that country? Versus, well, no, these wines and some of these countries here I'll talk individually about them in a moment, is that some have had a very, very long lineage, in fact, longer than the United States. So um, it's something to think about in a different path, in a different framing. So here we go. This is um, Lebanon, and Lebanon has a very long lineage, since about 750 BCE, before the Common Era, era excuse me, and so that's at least 20 uh, millennia. So you're producing Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Syrah, Cinso, Carignan, and Grenache, Chateau Moussard, we'll do that in another video. Very excited about this wine here. This is uh, Bulgarian wine, this is um, Domaine Boyard. Now, this is, um, first I found this in cinema, so I, I definitely consider that part of the San Francisco Bay Area, at least the northern part. And um, I thought, how, why is this particular retailer selling this? Well, I looked on the back of the label and it's a importer and they're based in Sonoma. So that's, you know, makes perfect sense there. Now, Bulgaria was the second or third largest wine producer during the communist era. Very interesting, and uh, probably most of that was internal consumption as well export to the Soviet Union. Now here it's a wine nation uh, state producing Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, Pinot Noir, Petit Syrah, Zinfandel, Chardonnay, Gewitz, Teramina, Riesling, Muscat, and um, so I look forward to tasting this wine in another video, that'll be fun. And then this one is, I'll bring this a little closer, and I'll do a video, I've already opened this wine and it's gonna have its own video because I believe every bottle of wine should have its own video, Cuvée, Premier du Président, and uh, look forward to talking about this nation, which is different, a uh, different path point than these two here. Now, um, it's, you know, I looking on a reference point, it was very hard to find some really concrete information. Maybe around the Phoenicians and somewhere around the Romans. Well, what year was that? Um, it, it'd be nice to have more information. When you look for Bulgaria, well, you have to, you know, take a leap of faith and think, well, maybe because it's next to Greece, which has a 6,500 year history, Maybe it's around that period of time because they're approximate geographically, um, you know, next to each other. It has to be something like that. But that that's a story unfolding. That's the story to come. So I look forward to tasting each of these wines with you in another video. So for more wine reviews and keep your palate open and your mind open and keep asking for your wine retailer to bring these wines in. Okay. For more wine reviews, please go to jamesthewineguy.com. Subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest. Sign